Ticketmaster supports people of interest and reminds you that, sure, our tickets are expensive, but less expensive than the ones we secretly sell on StubHub at a huge markup. My next guest needs a little introduction. Satan, the Dark Lord himself, has a <laughs> <laughs> for us, he's not bringing the end of days. Instead, he's bringing with him a debut album called Satan Swings the Blues. <laughs> it's a collection of jazz and hot standards sung by Luce for himself over lush orchestrations. While the record has been reviewed favorably, Satan's live shows are garnering the most praise, with their mix of both music and storytelling. From Satan about his life and his contentious relationship with God. Satan, yeah. welcome. Yeah, great to be here, man. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for putting us in any of us. Oh, shit, no, no, it's my pleasure, man. Um, so. A lot, a lot of your longtime fans were really shocked with you know, you know, sort of more jazz album. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I mean, I'm just sort of returning to my roots, uh, returning to really where it all started. You know, I mean, think about it. Black Sabbath started out as a blues band, man. Yeah. <laughs> you do, yeah, I mean, you do some blues covers. You do blues in the night. Nice, great mm -hmm. tune. Um, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people were expecting a darker tone, but I mean, you really have sort of the... What's darker than blue, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you're, 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 some of your hints are black. Black metal. I guess, yeah. So... <laughs> so if you want to be technical about it, yeah, black metal gets pretty dark. But, you know, I mean, how dark can you be? The whole... Three Norwegians in a shower cell report of the cell phone thing. I'm over it, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one of the one of the big aspects of your tour is you know you're starting to tell a lot of stories about, about you and God. Um, have you talked to God before doing this, or you know are you just you just you're? Oh, uh, you know we text them good. <laughs> <laughs> We texted a bit, you know, we tried to meet up, and, uh... It's hard to talk to the guy, man. Hard to talk to him. I mean, a lot of people are seeing this as sort of your, your Keith Richards, his Mick Jagger moment. You're really starting to tell some of the stories. You know, I mean, people don't really know what it's like working with that guy, you know? I, I was wondering if you... It's like, I want to be in charge of everything. Like, I created all this. It's got to be my way or that. Uh, you you have one of the stories. I would. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling it. Uh, you have one of the stories that you told me, uh, during the Renaissance period uh, when you were uh, listening to some some Baroque music. Uh, I think that uh, that works historically. Yeah. I think you tell a story. You tell a story about how you and I were, were debating the, the merits of, uh, of the music, and uh, he said something. I, I was wondering if you, could, if you wouldn't mind bearing the audience. With I would. <laughs> uh, it's tough, man. You know, it got real personal. It got real personal there. Right. And we were in a hotel room. <sighs> hotel room one night. Just real simple argument about music. You know, like he thought it was dumb. He thought it was dumb. I thought it was just getting started, man. <laughs> I'm talking about my girlfriend. <laughs> Saying she was influencing me. And I'm like, hey man, ever since that thing happened with your kid, you ain't been the same. <laughs> I was like, we used to fucking rock, man. You used to be fire and brimstone, man. Pillars of salt. Boom! After that, you know, it was all just like subtlety. <laughs> hey, whatever happens, happens. Part of my plan. I'm like, fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm like, send a message to the people, you know? Let them know. I send messages. Right. Like, any records, spin that shit backwards. <laughs> 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 I didn't ask you about that. Uh, your record, play backwards. Is there a message from God? No. no. <laughs> Stupid, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> a message for me. It's just me plugging my Twitter. 
<laughs> yes. Uh, you have been more active in Twitter lately. I have. You're tweeting a lot. Still trying to get verified. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the questions is, why, why now? I mean, why, why come on this album now? You know, it seems like the, the, the record industry you know, is not really where it was. You know, is this sort of the, are you expecting this to be the shot in the arm the record industry needs? Yeah. Yeah, I am, you know, like, even past that, you know, just we're at a time when, uh, when the artists were really getting to create their own material. Right. Like, I look at even comedy, you know, like Louis C.K. produced his own album, released it on his website himself. And I'm thinking, let's get the fucking big fat cat record companies back on top, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm about. It's because it, they're, they're, they're evil. They're all my children, right? <laughs> 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 You know what? The better they get in life, the worse it is for them to come down to me. So, uh, how, how is the tormenting souls business? I'm not you're taking a break from it. Well, you know, I've been, you know, kind of leaving it to the road down there, but, uh, between, between tours and stuff, yeah, I can get back down there and do some torture, ironic punishments, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like, I mean, Rock and pays the bills, man. Torture and pays the soul. <laughs> um, so a lot of people have compared your, your voice actually to, to Bing Crosby. Is he in hell and have you been, you know, getting huh. some like pointers? Bing, no. Dean Martin, yeah. Really? <laughs> Complete sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> you get a drinking problem. He's got a much worse drinking problem now. <laughs> uh, then I brought punishment. Yeah. You'll see, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the rest of the rap the rest of rap band. Yeah. Uh, just Frank, man. Because th there were some rumors that uh, Sammy Davis Jr. actually worshipped you. Uh, no. Yeah, he was no, just he Jew. was a Jew. The whole way. <laughs> no. Marilyn, Marilyn Manson. Okay. No, Sammy was fine. Sammy's up top. Joey Bishop also was fine. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Some people I don't know about. There's a lot of people in hell, Ryan. I'm kind of in charge down there. Can't keep track of every single motherfucker there. <laughs> the big players I know about. Listen, Randack is all about Frank and Sammy. You know, who cares about who the other guy was? <laughs> Was there even any other guys? I don't know. <laughs> Moving on. Um, <laughs> you brought it up, Ryan. <laughs> don't get all, don't get all attitude with me about it, because I, Satan, don't necessarily know as much about the rat pack as you, Ryan Marlow, expect. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much into forgiving anymore. Really? No. Ever since Catholics stopped charging for it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, you know, that was what you were supposed to do. It's kind of yet. Is that part of the reason you know why the why why the album and the tour? You know, some of the some of that money's running out. Mm -hmm. Money from the plenary indulgences is that run out? That's why you're getting your stories and fun. Oh, because Catholics have stopped paying yes. for uh, paying for absolution. Yes. Uh, that actually has nothing to do with the tour, Ryan. Right? Yes. Okay. Because the money from absolution for Catholics actually didn't get funneled down there. <laughs> 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 uh, why would that make any sense, Ryan Borrow? Infrastructure of the afterlife. Apparently not. Yeah. So, so. Uh, it's all right. Well, are the final question, you know, with this money coming in, uh, huh? are you planning on any improvements in hell? Hell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start out 
open up an improv training center down there. <laughs> <laughs> really, really start pushing long form improv. Have people sit through it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Actual support for People of Interest is brought to you by Philly Improv Theater, Philly's home for comedy. In addition to shows every week of the year, FIT offers classes in improv, sketch, and stand-up. For more information, visit phillyimprovtheater.com.